Hey y'all, so I got 10 minutes to sit and talk to y'all. I just pulled up at my esthetician's office. I get a facial done like every eight weeks um, just to keep my skin clear and beautiful, <laughs> you know. So I do get a facial every eight weeks for right now. I think this is my last facial um, in the like eight week steps like not the eight week steps I sound like I'm an alcoholics anonymous or AA or something um no shade to anyone that's in AA I'm proud of you if nobody's told you okay because the first step is to admit and then the second step you get some help okay so I'm proud of you but I'm up here talking about some step program um but my esthetician put me on like this deep facial type deal and it is like a plan program or whatever this is my last step in this eight weeks so i think after this appointment my facials will be kind of spaced out uh longer than eight weeks um but i love her she's african-american uh, maybe i'll share her information with you guys for those of you that are in the houston area um especially the ones that are near like the richmond katie um even Pearland, Pearland, whatever however you pronounce houston is just way too huge and it's ridiculously huge but anybody that's in the houston area and you're willing to travel for like your health and your skin is a part of your health okay just like your mental health your physical health your sp health your uh, blah, blah, what nina your mental health your physical health your spiritual health all of it it's it's intertwined it all goes together so she's really good and i like that she's african-american and she's like such a science nerd like she knows every word in every single product and what it means and what it does she's just super smart love her and she's beautiful too um but yes that's where i am right now so i have like eight minutes now because my appointment's at one and it's now actually 12 54 the minute just went ahead and shifted um so i have a few minutes and i just wanted to share something because i was listening to something that somebody else said which didn't even have anything to do with what i'm talking on here to talk to you guys about let me turn on my ac because oh how hot is it 97 degrees the devil is a lie huh don't go to hell y'all because if you can't stand the sun hell is a heat you ain't never even felt this kind of heat before i know I wouldn't even make it standing at the door of hell. So ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no. Okay, never mind. I was getting ready to rap like a really uh, ratchet song. I don't know. Every time I say ain't no way, that song pops in my head. Okay. Mm -mm. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I do. Uh, I do like rap though. Just not the hood cursing stuff. But anyways. So. What I got on here to say is that more than likely for you guys that are ready to be courted and to start dating the person that God has for you. And some of you guys, the Lord just has you actually just dating, you know, different people. And when I say dating, I don't mean in a relationship, but dating is simply what it is. Going on dates, dating, getting to know different people. And I feel like we really need to normalize opposite sex friendships. I know that it's hard because it's even hard for me because when I tell a person like I'm not your wife and you still don't listen and be trying to just do the most it's it's a turn off to me um but when you get a guy friend someone of the opposite sex because this could be for a man too when you get someone of the opposite sex that actually wants to be your friend and you guys are just cool they're not doing anything extra i think that is so amazing like to actually have a friend of the opposite sex and people don't normalize that enough like they always feel like you're supposed to have friends of the same sex disagree i would love to have a team of guy friends and we were just friends i think that would be awesome now when you get married and stuff you know the relationship kind of changes <laughs> drastically because now you have a husband but as i'm just i mean and that happens with even same sex, you know, friendships, like your girlfriends that you hang out with, right? Sometimes when you elevate or God moves you in a certain direction, those doors are closed and that's okay. But I still think we need to normalize um, opposite sex friendships. 
I do think we need to normalize that because people like it's almost forbidden <laughs> like people feel like it's like the ultimate like no-no to have a friend of the opposite sex and they immediately feel like it's supposed to be that's your husband or somebody you're supposed to be with no ma'am like we're all brothers and sisters in Christ so why can't my brother be my friend you know what I'm saying but anyways um, I got on here just to tell you guys and I'm not even gonna have enough time to release this word So y'all are probably gonna see me after my facial, but I remember if you guys know the story about the guy that I ended up meeting in my apartment complex And I told you guys off the bat like it was just crazy how God aligned us to talk to one another for him to talk to me If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay, but I gave a whole testimony on that But I immediately told you guys in the beginning this isn't my husband. God told me he's not my husband, but God had a word to say in all of that, right? And God is just so amazing. So I released that testimony. But I remember when I first saw this young man and I, like, I was just leaving from getting a massage months ago when I, um, not when I first saw him, but when he first talked to me and I didn't know he was going to talk to me at this time. I was just getting back home from a massage appointment, right? So I had on a little tank top, some baggy jeans. I mean, like wide leg baggy jeans. Like I was just in super chill mode. I had just got a massage. So my hair was like all crazy in this mohawk. Cause you know, they lay you face down and they flip you over. So my hair was wild. You know, I was just in straight chill mode. So as I'm pulling up, jamming to my music windows down, I see him come down the stairs getting ready to get in his car so I parked my car and I was like I'm gonna just wait until he gets out of the um no I said I'm gonna just wait until he pulls out of the parking lot to get out of the car I said because this man is fine and I said I'm up here with my hair mohawk crazy I got on these baggy jeans that <laughs> do not suit me okay they was cute but they was like super baggy jeans okay I had on like a little tank top like spaghetti strap shirt but I was just in straight chill mode and I was like dang I was like I've never I've seen him before but you know it's normally in passing when I'm leaving or he's coming or something we always say hey hello whatever so I'm always like looking cute wherever I go this just happened to be a day where I was in straight chill mode because I had just got a massage so like I said my hair was crazy I dressed comfortably to go to my massage for purpose because it's a massage uh, they put oil all over your body and stuff so you you go to your massage appointment in comfortable attire right so jeans baggy I think I had on some cute sandals and I was just straight chilling so I was like I'm gonna let him pull out of the parking lot before I get out because I am looking kind of crazy right now and the Lord spoke. So I, I sat in the car and I was trying to act like I was doing stuff in the car. I was not doing nothing. I was just waiting until he leaves so I could walk up to my apartment. The Lord said, get out of the car now, just as you are. <laughs> so I was like, what, Lord? Oh, you know what? I'll argue with Jesus. So I just got my stuff and got out of the car and began walking to the stairs to go to my apartment knowing this man is watching me because he's still legit sitting in his car and his car is parked right by the stairs because we live in the same building okay so I'm just walking <laughs> trying to I didn't walk fast I was just like Lord Jesus like whatever I can't believe but like, yeah I just started walking to the apartment that's when he actually pulled his car out and I told y'all that he was like he bumped the horn he was like hey and I was like hey like way too happy <laughs> I was doing way too much because I just got happy right when God has had you in a hidden seasons not one season seasons you really don't know how to like respond not even to a hey okay and and, and the person looks good if it's a person that's not attractive to you you'll, you'll normally just be like hey what's up how you doing but I don't know what just came over me and I told you guys I got way too happy and gave him the happiest hey in America okay so I know this man was like she's really happy to see me and she doesn't even know me okay he actually that was his first time really speaking to me and I was like okay who just stops their car to say hey to someone as they're pulling out that's when I came to the understanding I'm like he's interested in some and something and I wasn't thinking about sex or anything to so get your mind out of the gutter but I was like he's interested because who does all of that right and I even shared that testimony with you guys before God did what he did and we ended up exchanging numbers um so I just wanted to get on here because that came back to me 
And I just wanted to share with you guys that are in like a waiting season or courting or whatever you want to call it. Go out in your natural state. Don't always worry about, oh, do I look super cute today? Is every hair in place? Sometimes just simply, y'all, I think y'all done saw this tank top like 20 times. Now that I done made a word, I only had this thing for a week, okay? But I literally have on a top and some sweatpants, okay, in my natural state. You don't have to feel like you need to be dolled up every time you go out. Because by this experience, I was obedient to the voice of God. He said, get out, just like you are. Like, get out and walk to your apartment. If something is for you, regardless of what happens with the connection, whatever God is using it for, it's going to happen. You don't have to be on your A-game looks-wise, okay? That man saw through all of that. As he was pulling out, and later when I asked him, I was like, why'd you just stop and say, hey? He was like, I wanted to um, make sure you noticed that I was watching you. Like, you're really pretty. He's like, I wanted to know. Because I asked him, why did he just stop the car and say, hey, later, like a few weeks later after we exchanged numbers, whatever God has for you, whatever connection he has for you, best believe regardless of how you walk out of the house, and I'm not saying just use the opportunity to look a hot mess in distress, but don't feel like you have to be in a perfected state to get what God has for you. Just simply be you, beautiful woman of God, beautiful man of God. And yes, a man can be beautiful. Beautiful is not just for a woman. It's not gender specific. Things are, the sky is beautiful. A car can be beautiful. A man and a woman can both be beautiful. I've complimented a man before and told him that he was beautiful, okay? So a man can be beautiful. Be you because whatever God has for you, it's yours. Whatever connections he wants to establish, he will connect it, okay? A man may plan his ways, okay? But the Lord order his step, orders his steps, okay? A man's heart may plan his ways, but the Lord order his, orders his steps, okay? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what plans a person has for themselves, okay? God is the head honcho. He's the boss. He's over everything, so it's already yours. You don't have to be perfect. Ladies, you don't have to get down to your perfect size eight or size six. Just simply be you. You are beautiful exactly where you are, how you are, who you are. Okay, whose are you? Who do you belong to? The Lord Jesus Christ. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and God does not make anything ugly, okay? <laughs> and he does not make anything pointless, so you have a purpose and you're beautiful and God is going to do exactly what he told you he would do. So I just wanted to share that with someone. I'm late for my appointment because now it's 104 and I'm pretty sure they're looking at, at me from this office door. Okay, because this door is glass, y'all. Um, and they can see through it. So let me get in here to my appointment. I love you guys. Have a blessed Friday. I pray this word blesses somebody. But simply, woman of God, man of God, just be you. You are beautiful in your natural state. You don't have to have every hair in place, every baby hair, the best clothes. Just simply be you. For the days that you want to wear sweatpants and a hoodie and go out the door, do it. Because if that husband is for you, God will put him in place and he will think you're the finest thing since sliced bread that's standing in front of him. Okay? So anyways, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. We'll talk soon.